Okay, I was requested to make a card in a box uh, for a wedding as a gift uh, card to add the bills inside and you already uh, watch in my channel two of them but the tutorial was a little bit uh, different to this one so I want to uh, share with you this and let me tell you what I'm going to do I will be using Etsy papers in PNG images uh, because it's what I have right now and for my base I will be using a uh, watercolor paper okay you are going to need as my car base let's start first with the car this measured seven and three quarters and it is scored at three and three quarters and at four that's the width and the height is seven and a quarter and then we will have this gap now we need an extra piece which is this one to add the pocket here inside in this uh, occasion i'm going to do it in this way this piece measure let me tell you eight and a quarter by three and three quarters on the three and three quarters the scoring line is a it's a half an inch here so i score at three and a quarter now here i score at a half an inch and uh seven and quarter eleven uh, sixteenths sort of something like that okay now because it's important that this fits here i don't like the idea to see this uh, outside all right so now I personally like to leave a little bit of the white this will be here showing all around okay but you decide how much white you want to see and then cut the mats of any paper that you want to use okay also I'll be using these gorgeous dies die cuts uh, I cut it with my fantasy dies this and this and i want to improve in something new today okay this i cut it three times two in a watercolor and this uh, on top is uh, just a cardstock light gold cardstock i love this color so much and also this to decorate the inside now on top of this we are going to add an extra piece with some uh, dimension and this is three and three eighths by six and three quarters and i'll be using this here okay so i'll be using some flower these are not handmade and i'm going to color the uh, this uh, flower but these are remaining from another project i have this here i have this uh, little blue as well and i think i'm going to use this some leaves let me find you can use anything that you want to decorate i'm going to show you how to make the base you can see here this is from the graphic 45 a card that i made i'll be using some laces and basically that's it and also this gorgeous white pearl and i like to use this to color not color it's a kind of distress on the edges this look amazing so i'm going to add this in all my uh, mats and when this is ready i'll come back and we finish okay for my closure i'll be using a piece of uh, seam binding so first i think it's a good idea to add that here before we attach rest
All right. And now we can cut. Let's see. Okay. All right. Now we can add this piece on the back already. already cut here just I just mark this where I want it to cut and I prefer to do this first and then align it here I already made my marks here where I am going to cut in the white uh, watercolor paper for this Before we attach this piece here, I want to make a kind of uh, arc, arc, arch here, something to decorate, and this will be in here. Okay, so I'll be using this is a leftover piece of uh, acetate, and this was measuring about. 7 sixteenths and I score at a uh, 5 eighths of an inch okay that is okay my idea is to make this arch here in this way so first I want to make my marks because of course we are going to cut I am just marking here my center and a little bit in these sides, okay? Of course, I made my marks on the scoring uh, in the, well, it's not properly a scoring, the, the scoring line is the, the oh, flap, the tiny flap, okay? Now, my idea is to do this here i'm going to cut a little bit and then i am going to try to go straight and then make here okay i am just making tiny tiny uh, flaps uh, uh -huh. Now, where we 
smoke here. I hope you can see mm, probably no but let me find something to show you more easily okay let me show you here is one tiny tiny flap here is another one another one another one in total i made one two three four five six seven because now i think this is the moment using your pencil okay i am just going to make my marks because i want to cut i think it's going to look better oh but first we need to see if this fits here Yes, something like this. Okay. No. Here is one. Okay. I'm going to cut the first one here. Now this will be here and because I already cut them I can put this inside. I need to open this a little bit more. and of course we are going to stick the tiny flaps on the back okay that's the idea here is this and I will try to align it here, this with this one, okay? That's something that I will try to do.
going to add some double sided uh, tape on the back all right now we can come in the front to do this now i want to decorate with this my arc so the first thing that i'm going to do is to cut this on the center I'm going to use this inside and I will try to align it with that okay and then I'll come back okay I add a some a chipboard to attach this here with a little bit of uh, dimension as well as the groom and the bride so, with an eye brush course that's what it is i will start by adding a little bit this is just a regular and sheep eye brush okay and this color is all water taffy oh my gosh I just made a purchase uh, at scrapbook.com. It's not a sponsor, but I want to let you know where I get my uh, everything that I get. Sometimes in Amazon, sometimes at scrapbook.com. And because it was cheaper for me to get this in, uh, in that store, that online store. So... I asked for I don't know maybe eight different and this is warm lipstick this is not new and I will use it a little bit more inside just to add more depth <music>
I added uh, some pink pearls, some per pearls, but I think there is too much blue here. So I am just going to add a little touches here and there. And I love this so much in this way, much, much better. Just a little bit. Yes, much better. okay now i really really want to add some of this white uh, white pearl uh, wax well this is not the best for this I, I bought these flowers only the little ones the blue ones are handmade the others are not okay so let me move this because now I think it's a good idea instead add just a touch extra touch of this because it's beautiful I really love it so much and probably we can add oops something 